In this video, you're gonna learn how to make the buttons of your Python TK Integrate application super, super cool by adding icons to them, and also, if needed, how to change the icon and the text when you click on them. But before you get started, I want to quickly tell you that I've selected for you the best Python courses. If you want to check them out, use the links in the description so that in addition to getting amazing courses, you're also gonna support this channel. So first of all, let's import TK into SDK as usual. And then we're also going to need pill. So from pill, import image and image TK. If you get an error because you don't have pill installed, you need to do something like this. You need to install it first. So pip install pillow, or you might need to do something like pip3 install pillow. Okay, something like that. Then we can create the window like that. And then we can resize it to 300 by 200 like that. And then also I don't want this to be resizable. So with false and height false, perfect. Then I'm going to add a few variables for the colors so that you can actually change the colors here. So the first color is going to be 0A, C like that. The second color is going to be 26, 7B. Then the third and the fourth. So the third is going to be D. And then the last one is going to be black like that. And then we're going to create the main frame and it's going to be TK frame like that. Root, the background color is going to be color one and the part Y is going to be 20 like that. Then we're going to use pack to place it in the window, inside the window. So both and expand is going to be true like that. And then we want the column and the row to actually stretch and cover the whole thing. So I'm going to give it a weight of one and then mainframe row configure zero weight one like that. So let's create a button right now. So first of all, button one, it's going to be button like that. Then the parent is going to be the main frame because I want the button to be inside the main frame. Then the background color is going to be color two like that. The foreground, which is the color of the text is going to be color four. And then here the width for a textual button, the value of the width and the height are in characters and text lines. So I'm going to use 10 and also height two. But then when we add the image, we need to change them because then when you add the image, the value of the height and the width are in pixels. Then highlight thickness, which is a sort of border around the button, is going to be two. And then the highlight background color is going to be color two because basically this is always visible and I want this to be the same as the background of the button so you don't actually see anything. And then the highlight color, which is the one that will be used when the button has focus, when you switch from one widget to the other using the tab. Then active background is going to be the color three. So when you hover over the button and then the active foreground is going to be color four. And this is the text, the color of the text when you hover over it, because I always want the hand one to make it clear that there is a button that, that is clickable then I don't want the border, so border zero. And the text is going to be on in this case. And then the font. As I always say, you can use the font you want. I'm just going to use this one, but use the one you want. Okay. Then of course, to show it on the screen, you need to place it using grid. So grid, column zero, row zero, like that. And as usual, we need, of course, to call the main loop to start the application. A quick interruption here. I just want to mention that I now have a Patreon account where you can support me to keep creating content like this and also get exclusive perks. If you want to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description box down below. And thank you so much for the support. So if we actually run this, we get this thing here. As you can see, this is amazing. Around here, you've got the border, the highlight. I'm going to show you how you can actually 
change the highlight background when you hover over it because otherwise you will always see this little thing around and I don't actually like it. So let's actually quickly define a little function to do that. So down here we can do something like def button one enter. I've used button one because you can have as many as you want. If you watch other videos of mine, you know that you need to pass the event parameter here because it's passed automatically by TK Inter, so you need that, even if you don't actually use it down here. Then button one, config, then we're gonna do something like highlight background, and it's going to be color three. And then when you leave, when you are not hovering over the button anymore, you do something like button leave and here you go back to the color two basically perfect like that and of course you need to bind those functions otherwise you don't do anything so button one bind when you enter like that you want to call this function here like that and when you leave you want to call of course leave like that so let's see if we actually get a result i'm going to place a white screen around so you can see that better so around here as you can see you don't have that sort of border anymore so that is working as expected perfect so now let's actually add the little icon to the button so let's go back here and up here we're going to create the photo image objects and by the way, the icons have been downloaded from Font Awesome. I downloaded the SVG of the black icons. I then resized them so that the height of both were, I think, 25 pixels. And I then converted them to PNG. And of course, you can use whatever icon. The important thing is that you resize them to the right size so that it actually looks good in your button. So I have the two icons here. So mic off, mic on. Perfect. So let's create the photo image objects, as I said. So on like that, it's going to be image tk dot photo image image dot open like this png. Perfect. And then the same thing for the off. So like that. Perfect. So we've got our two photo image objects then down here we are going to add the image and we're going to start with the microphone on and then i show you how to change the text and the icon when you click on it when you click on the button and then i want to use compound left this is basically needed to specify where you want the icon to be so on the left right center etc in this case i want it to be on the left of the text so i'm going to use tk.left but you can use right etc etc and one important thing is that you also need to change the width and the height because now as you're using the image these are not in characters and lines anymore but these are in pixels so you're going to do something like 150 and 50 like that perfect Let's actually try to run this and see if that works as expected. So let's run it. As you can see, now you see the little icon there, which is really, really nice, really, really nice. But if you click on that, nothing happens, of course. So now I want this icon and the text to change when I click on it. So you see off and the different icon. So let's actually close this, okay. So now, as I said, we need to change the text and the icon when the user click on it. But before we get to that though, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, if you're enjoying the video, and also you don't want to miss future videos, so hit the subscribe button as well. So let's create the function that we're going to call when we click on it. So def button one click the event as we've done above. In this case, I want to change the icon and the test. So button one config and do, do something like image the off in this case and i want to change the text to off and of course we want to bind the function to the event so button one so the left button of the mouse and then button one click something like that let's see what we actually get so this is that when we click on it we get off but of course when you click on it again you don't get on 
because we actually haven't written the code to do that. So let's change the function slightly. So first of all, we need to understand if the button is on or off. And for that, we can check the value of the text. So we can do something like if button one text is equal to on, then I'm going to do this. Okay, else, which means that the button is basically off, we need to do something different. So we need to configure the button differently. So button one config here, we need on and here we need on like that. Okay, so let's actually try that again. Let's place white screen around. Okay, so off, on, off, on, off, on. How cool is that? How cool is that? I know that at this point you want to learn even more things about TK Inta and Python, so I highly recommend you go and watch the video you see on the screen. Also, like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel as well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!